Old prospector stories are very unreliable. In fact, so much so that in this town, they have what they call the Liars Contest every year in honor of Pegleg Smith and his lost mind of gold. However, there is one legend here that many actually believe, and that's the legend of the Borrego Sandman. Welcome to the Borrego Desert in Southern California. We are very close to the infamous Death Valley. Testimonies of the Borrego Sandman and a tribe of sand creatures is pretty well documented. A very old local here claims that in 1939, as a child, he was accosted by a tribe of giant, upright walking apes covered with white fur. He even said that their eyes glowed red. A man named Victor Stoyon was exploring this area in 1964 when he came across 14 inch long tracks in the sand dunes. He claimed the tracks were in pairs. And then Harold Lancaster was another example. Prospecting here in the area in 1968, he was making his breakfast and this is what he said. I saw a man walking in the desert. The figure came closer and I thought it was another prospector. Then I picked up my binoculars and saw the strangest sight in my life. It was a real giant ape man. The stories go on and on. So you might be asking yourself, what on earth, Rick, does this have to do with leadership? Well, let me tell you. I was sitting around this morning thinking of something to do. And like most of you, since this whole COVID shutdown thing, we're doing the same thing every single day. And the problem is in our own local geographies, we've probably done everything that we can think to do. So I started digging deep. Here's the thing. I would never have discovered this rich history in the desert just 90 minutes from my home had I not taken the time to dig. I searched all kinds of things, California obscurities, California legends, hidden California, secrets of California, and so on. It took a while and a bit of effort, but here I am, and Alma and I have made a great day of it. Hey, listen, as a pastor, you can continue to revisit all the things that you've done in the past. Revisit the successes, the people, the behaviors, and you'll probably do pretty well. But here's my challenge to you. Dig deep and do something different. Take the time to think differently about everything that you're currently doing. Ask yourself these questions. What is hidden? What am I not seeing? What if I do this one thing instead? If you embark on that adventure, you may just be surprised at the future, and you may also find some very interesting journeys along the way.